What's up? This is Squad 2448. We're following Slay to 17 video. Today we'll be setting up the brand new snow plowing shop here on the mauling map. We'll be using a variety of trucks and equipment throughout the winter to clear all of the snow. For equipment, we'll be using the track John Deere skid steer with a snow blower attachment, the John Deere front loader with a blade, the Bobcat S770 with a box plow. For trucks, we'll be using the Ford F550 flatbed with a boss plow and sander. The Ram flatbed with a western star sander the Chevy 3500 Dually with a Fisher Plow. Our newest truck will be the 2017 Ford F350 with a Boss Plow and Hitch Sander. And our last truck in our shop will be the GMC 3500 HD Dump Truck. We'll be bringing all of the equipment over to the shop today, organizing it and preparing for the first snowfall of the year. So we'll be hopping in the 2017 Ford F350 first, and we'll be making our way over to the shop. This was a pretty highly requested video I do appreciate all of the requests and let me know down below in the comments if you do have any cool plow truck ideas I really want to get more trucks in different types of brands but I did try to start out with a variety of brands which is pretty cool and let me know down below in the comments if you guys would like me to do a tutorial on how to add snow plows to any public truck in farming simulator 17 and I'd like to thank each and every one of you for the continued support on the daily content I'm very excited about all the farming videos coming even the snow plowing which is just around the corner in the mowing map is ready to uh, have some snow plowing action on it which is pretty cool so this truck will be mainly our daily driver what we'll be bringing home since it's so new so we pretty much parking this one outside for now and we'll be switching over to the Chevy 3500 dually this is one very nice truck and we do have the Fisher plow which is also another nice uh, plow so we'll kind of pull out here from the store and we'll be making our way back over there and I really did try like I was saying to have a variety of trucks from dualies to single rear wheels and also to kind of add in a dumb truck or two which was pretty cool we will be using the new utility trailer to transport both skid steers over here to the shop I do not want to drive those on the street and we already do have some of those already out at some properties that do allow us to kind of store them there which is also pretty helpful and that's going to be pretty cool just kind of driving there even in the 2017 Ford hopping out and uh, doing that but wow looks like the truck was caught there for a minute that's not too realistic so we'll have to kind of work around those throughout today's video but take a look at that guys we got this one in here and uh, like I was saying I did add all these snow plows to them and this is our new dedicated sand rig I thought that it would be nice to kind of have a truck only for sanding and then have a few that could do both so here it is and this truck I don't really want to put a snow plow on it since we have this pretty cool front end I mean that looks pretty cool that uh, bumper so take a look at that we have the flatbed western star sander very cool sander and you guys can see we already do have it full of salt if you guys do have any cool video ideas, let me know down below in the comments. And if you do have any cool equipment ideas for this new shop, also let me know. I definitely want to look into maybe getting a box plow or a few other things like this. And this is actually our old lawn care shop. I thought that this would be a perfect shop. I mean, it did the company really well with a lot of equipment. And I think that this Ram will park right here. The Chevy will be able to get out in. Uh, it's going to be overall very beneficial for it to be there. So now we are in the Ford F550. Very nice truck. We actually have a pretty cool first person view also. And a lot of these trucks I will be looking into kind of adding a GoPro view kind of attached to a plow. I think that that would also be a pretty cool aspect and camera view. And for the F550, like I was saying earlier, we do have a boss sander on the back. Now, like I was also saying, I do like to have a variety, kind of have a few trucks that can do both, and then have trucks that can only do one, which is pretty helpful, especially since uh, having a sander on the back is a lot of weight for the truck, and it does take up a lot more gas mileage, kind of bringing this around, and that's also a way to kind of save money and everything like that. So we're kind of back in, we do have a variety of plows from boss to uh, Fisher, Blizzard, and also I believe we do have Western. If not, I will probably look into that, but take a look at that. We kind of got this parked here, and now uh, we do have to be pretty careful how we do park all of those up, but what we will actually be doing is we'll be hopping in the GMC 
3500 HD dump truck. This is pretty cool. Now I'm thinking, let me know down below in the comments if you guys would like me to do this. We could take the back door off the dump bed and we could add in a sander. That would actually be a pretty cool idea. And this truck is complete with strobe lights all the way around, which is also a very helpful feature, letting everybody know that we are plowing and we are moving around. Now this shop is pretty much on the edge of the map compared to now having it much larger. So it's a little bit more of a drive to kind of get place to place. But like we're saying, I think that we should be pretty much okay with that. We'll be back in here and then we'll actually be hopping back into the ram because we'll be going back there and we do need to load up those two skid steers onto that new utility trailer. And this is really the only truck. We could have used the dumb truck, but I think that this is a little bit easier. The visibility out of the rear view mirrors, especially with the tow mirrors, is also a little bit easier than the GMC. So take a look at this first person view. This is one epic uh, camera view and in interior for a Ram. And I think while we are here, we'll probably just hop in the John Deere, bring that back. That way we could only uh, kind of focus on the last two of the day. So that's probably what we'll do. We'll kind of uh, turn this off right over here and take a look at this. We're using the John Deere 52 4K. This has a high lift and it does have a fully functioning blade. I mean, take a look at this. Very nicely done. We'll be turning our hazard lights on and we'll be kind of making our way over there. Now, in a few weeks, we most likely will be doing some upgrade videos with all of your features feedback, getting equipment that you guys have asked for, and we might be adding a snowblower attachment for us, just in case we do need to kind of go clear out the towns or very deep snow, which the skid steers can't handle. And let me know what types of snow plowing videos would you guys like me to do. I think we'll kind of start off doing plowing videos with the equipment we have and all the new ones that we will be getting throughout the winter season, which will be pretty cool. And uh, we'll be doing a few more fall leaf cleanups, and that's pretty much it for lawn care other than cleanups because it's pretty much over for the season. The grass is no longer growing. The cold is coming in very, very fast, and we need to get started on pretty much clearing all of the leaves, and then we will definitely have to kind of prepare for the snow and put markers out at all of the driveways everything like that so we'll kind of switch over here and the first one we'll be bringing over will be the Bobcat S770 we'll be hopping in the Ram flatbed and we'll be attaching to this trailer take a look at this we actually use this in yesterday's video I will be doing a mod review on it so stay tuned for that it's a very nice trailer and I do really do enjoy this one it looks awesome the wheels are color changeable and there's also a few other things and since this box plow is pretty large we will not be kind of backing these skids here on we'll just kind of drive it on forwards and it looks like this bobcat is a very wide skid steer and it just about fits on it, which is nice. And I actually did a size comparison between this and the 18 foot low trail trailer. And it looks to be only a few feet longer, which is nice. I always do like having that extra few feet, but I do like this one a lot and it's pretty cool. So we are heading back over to the shop and I really do like kind of recycling if you would say all the shops on the map. We could use them for different reasons and we'll probably find a, a good uh, company to kind of fill in the old construction shop which was actually pretty large. I was thinking about maybe switching over there so if we do get a lot of equipment for the plowing shop we will most likely have to move over to that larger one which actually would be pretty cool to do but that's actually early for us so that's probably down the road once we get more snow plowing equipment and grow the company that will be a pretty cool thing to do and a few of you guys might be asking why didn't we just kind of add plows to the lawn care ones and the lawn care shop maybe even the tree services shop and I really want to kind of keep the save game separate and we, that means that we get different trucks throughout the season and we do not have to worry about kind of uh, changing up the save game too much and then coming spring we don't have enough equipment everything like that so we'll have to kind of switch back over here the Bobcat isn't in the best position and it kind of went into there but up next we'll be hopping back in the Ram and we'll head back and get the last skid steer if you guys would like to see more setting up shop videos, let me know down below in the comments with what other types of equipment companies would you guys like me to add to the, to the map. We do have a tree services, fire station, police, uh, construction, 
tree services, lawn care, and now we have a snow plowing shop, which is pretty cool. We might be adding a transportation company. I think that will be a very interesting one to do. So let me know down below in the comments, should we add one of those and take a look at this brand new snowblower attachment. It all works. I'm very excited for using this, and this will probably be one of the most important ones out of the entire setup, just because we'll be able to clear snow very fast and throw it very far away off the side of roads and I'll probably also use this for sidewalks. We'll be loading this onto the trailer. Awesome, so this fits pretty well and maybe throughout the season we might need to use this trailer so we might have to build like a trailer for it to prevent the snow from a kind of uh freezing over the top of it and also kind of damaging it from the winter and keeping it out of the elements. But as you guys can see, the Ram is doing a pretty good job, especially with all of that weight in the back towing this. And I mean, I just enjoy using different types of trucks. And if you do have any cool truck ideas, always let me know. Awesome, so we'll be kind of backing in here, and the mowing map is pretty much uh, seasons ready. I do have a few things I am working out, and I do appreciate all of the support on the map. I did enjoy building it, and we will most likely be building a few more maps, something cool like that, maybe in the future. And uh, we'll kind of unload this, and where do we pretty much park this? That's a good question, so I think we'll have to kind of park it in here, rearrange the shop just a little bit, I think, but we will most likely have to do. But we'll be hopping back in the ram, and uh, we'll kind of park this up right over here, kind of easy to get to also. Actually, thinking about it, we should put it in a way that it's going to be easy for us to kind of clear the uh, area also. So we'll kind of park it up right against the building, maybe even the snow drafts, even the wind, uh, and the shelter of the shop could stop a lot of snow from piling up here on the trailer. So we'll kind of park it up right about there. That looks to be good and we'll be backing in. So as you guys can see, we've been an entire shop full of snow plowing equipment which will be very helpful for us this winter season. We'll be hopping in the 2017 Ford and we'll be making it all the way back to our house. I do appreciate all of the support on this uh, pretty cool new series. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for snow plowing videos. Have a great day and subscribe for more.